Hi everyone, this is Chrissy and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to work on the great charity mansion, the big belt. So, yeah, messed up a little bit on this one, as you will see at the end. But yeah, it's going to be so much fun. So many rooms. Such a big, beautiful house though. So yeah, I'm looking forward to do this house. So yeah, let's go and have a peek at the house itself. So, I do love the yellow. So who knows, maybe we're going to keep it or not. But we're going to spruce it up a little bit outside. And we're gonna get rid of all those plant powder things. Brush is cute, but we're gonna change it up a little bit because I'm curious how we're actually able to park a car in there. And yeah, I'm gonna clean up the backyard, add some things, remove some things, you know, the usual business. It's gonna be so pretty though when we're done. Yeah, so right now the backyard, we don't really use it for anything, so. I'm gonna change that, yeah. Here we got the second or third garage. Yeah, so this we're gonna clean up, we're gonna make it more usable. And as we enter now, we have this little hallway, which doesn't make sense to me, so we're gonna remove this wall, make a bigger hallway, and here's the door to the garage, so we're gonna make it a little more usable, in my opinion, in, in here. We're gonna, this here, we're gonna keep us a bathroom. And let's have a peek here. And here we're gonna open up a little bit and this will be like the master area for, you know, the parents of the house. So they're gonna have like a big bedroom and a walk-in closet and all those things. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna open this up a little bit. Uh, the living room, we're gonna, you know, spruce up a little bit. We're gonna make the kitchen bigger, open it up a little bit because it's such a beautiful house but it feels a little crowded, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I do love loads of room though. Let's head upstairs and as you can see we got a lot to work with. Yeah, did I forget this room? No, I showed you that room. Just me, I'm gonna forget it later on. There are so many doors. Yeah, so let's see here. We got one big room. And we got a, another big room. Lots of walls like that though. I mean roofs. Oy. First place we lived, we had lots of those room and they, roofs and they take so much of the space from the house though. I've never been a fan of those. Here we got a tiny little closet. And over here, we got another big room. So yeah, it's a big, well it was called a mansion. So yeah, and another bedroom. Bad, bedroom, bathroom. Oh, lost my belt to talk and yeah, as you can see, we got lots of space to work on, so oy, better get to it, peeps. This is gonna be a long, but a fun one, eh? That's what we say. Okie dokie, let's get to it, shall we?
Okie dokie, stair Howard. Now I feel the house looks more inviting, looks more cozy, looks more homey. And we made it a little more private. And as you enter now, we have this cute little green and white and yellow greeting you. We got this cute little hallway, went a little nuts with the wallpaper. But now it feels more big and open and spacious. So we have lots of storage here, where it's a big house. So we have lots of room for shoes, coats, and whatever. And now as you enter the garage, we have bikes and scooters and all kind of sports equipment. And we still have room for the car. Which I feel is important because some of the garages are storages and not storage for your car. Now we have a little area when we come inside, again with more room. And look at this kitchen now, so pretty and big and open. Feels inviting, herbs on the window and yeah, even a tray of cupcakes if you're a sweet tooth. Okie dokie. And over here we got a nice little dining area which transition into the living area where you have books, knickknack, and of course a big TV and room for more knickknacks so and now as we enter this area we have the parents area and we see we have a big bedroom, makeup, vent table, an office area and we have this cute little closet with loads of room for like storage for your suitcase and luggage and coats and whatnots and a cute little private bed bathroom for the parents. Even got a bidet, bidet and loads of ducks, of course. Yeah, so pretty. Let's check out the rest of the house. If you remember in the start of the video, I said I messed up a little bit. And that was because when I was filming and showing myself around the house, I realized there were several rooms I forgot to finish. So I had to go back and do that. <clears throat> well, anyways, now we have a big usable back garden. Here we got a little serving area. We have a cute little area we can sit and relax and enjoy yourself. And work in your tent if you need that. Me, like I said before, I just turned to a shrimp. Over there, you got a little play area to play football and soccer and stuff like that. And of course, we have a big private playground. So look how cute that is. I mean, who doesn't want to just clam up on that ball? Well, not me, I'll probably hurt myself. Okie dokie, let's close this door and check out the upstairs. Oh yeah. And again, here we got one of the bedrooms. Cute little purple and black bedroom for, I guess, twins. We got a bunk bed or somebody who likes having a sleepover. And I do love the black and purple combination. Here we got another whole closet with room for your luggage, shoes, bags and books and whatnot. And here we got a little pink bedroom. Again, got a cute little entertaining area in the bedroom as, you know, sometimes when you have a big family, you need your own space. So we make sure to have that for the older kids. And in here, we got a big, beautiful bathroom with a washing machine and dryer, shower, bathtub, and of course, ducks. And let's check out this room here. We got a little gym, bright colors, maybe too bright. And a llama, because what doesn't keep you more motivated than a llama? Maybe it's alpaca, who knows? I don't, that's for sure. And let's check over here. We got again a big ba bathroom. Got a bathtub, a shower, ducks, you know, big family. You need a lot of bath bathrooms to keep, you know, conflicts at a minimum. Another room for a big kid. You know, you have your own TV, a lot of entertaining area, and loads of storage. So, yeah. There you have it, and now we now just need to go downstairs and outside and check out the garage. Let's go over there and check it out. Walk past these beautiful sunflowers, I do love them. As you can see, we removed one of the garage doors and added a door instead to this little work nook in the garage, and we still have room for our car. So yeah, and let's close the door and try and sell this house. Pretty sure I'll make a nice profit, so let's sell it and see. Again, I do love the green, white, and yellow combination I put on this house. Okie dokie, let's see here. Yep, made a nice head of profit, and Layla will get a new home. So do we say Layla? And there's Sally taking some pictures. Okie dokie, where's the Sandy? Well, the beaver. Well, there you have it. 
Please enjoy the before and after photo. I'm Christine. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if there's any houses or styles you want to try out, let me know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Okay, okay. Bye bye.